Hello guys and welcome back to, well, this is a Kingdom Hearts 3 video. I just realized that there was a new um, trailer for the Remind trailer, that it's a DLC that is going to come out, uh, I think that last year, until the last day of the year, I think that it's in December, but, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. I haven't seen this video, so let's go ahead and see it. <sighs> Sorry, this is in Spanish or something like that. Okay. Oh, was Corita the Sandlord? So, the Code Wars of Darkness. Oh, wait, you don't have the yellow eyes? It's useful. Told <laughs> ya! That's the Master of Masters? So, how would it go? The War Tour? Oh. In an awful way. I realize just how necessary I am. I knew it! You wouldn't! You wouldn't do this. I actually knew that they were gonna do this kind of stuff. They, that was boxes. <laughs> Wait, Oathkeeper. In at least it's gonna be, you know, uh, Oblivion there. Oh, sick bar. Who are you? All right. It doesn't make a difference to me anyway. Huh? i am just keep playing dumb. The question is, who are you, Luxor? Huh? Okay, it's confusing and exciting in some way. So... Oh, coming this winter, that's amazing. Um, so, practically what we got here is... We're getting DLC, that in this case we're gonna play Riku again with Aqua and Roxas. Roxas was the one that it got to my surprise. I thought I was going to play with, with another player, but I, I, I didn't got surprised a lot because I knew that this was necessary. Like, I remember back then when in Final Fantasy VII, when you needed to defeat the Sephiroth face, when you have all your characters, you can use all your characters to defeat that Sephiroth. And then Nier Automata was the same, like you have Nyes, 2B, and then A2 to play with different characters. So I thought, I, I knew from the beginning when I was playing this game, is like, it's weird that we haven't played with Aqua or with Ventus or with the other previous Kingdom Hearts characters because we already played them from the previous games. Um, Sora was the main character, Riku we played it on Deep Drop Distance and... And um, and Chain of Memories um, and 358. We were playing some other characters from the Organization 13. Aqua and Ventus and Terra was from Birth by Sleep. So yeah, I was like, w sorry, I'm actually <laughs> raiding right now. Um, but yeah, I was like, it's weird that we haven't got this content yet. So it's amazing. The Roxas was the was like a like a surprise and they brought back uh, Oathkeeper so I'm just waiting until Oblivion appears so it's amazing it's very amazing so my reaction was like confused and surprising at the same time and you know when we got to this part where we see Master Sian or young Master Sian or he doesn't have the, the yellow eye so he's not been corrupted by darkness yet so yes the white hair thing doesn't mean that he's been corrupted he's just like he's, he's normal here and the yellow, um, and, and in this eyes is because he still had been corrupted by, gar by darkness. He was just a young apprentice by then. So that's amazing in one thing. But I'm confused is, why does Luxor knows about the thing that knows about Sigbar? Like, that just keeps me confused. Maybe, maybe Luxor already knows the situation about, you know, about, about this guy. That he just got a card here. Uh, in this case, we already know that Sora will revive because of the wild card that Luxor gave him. So, that is one thing. Well, I think that I'm just getting overreacted about this, but this is not just a theory, it's just a fact. So, but the good thing here is that I'm going to play with Aqua, I'm going to play with Riku again, I'm going to play with Roxas, but just... I was waiting for this moment. I was just waiting for the moment to say, hey, you know what? We need those old characters to be playable again. And good thing that Nomura did it until winter. So it's going to be until December. So 
<laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I was not so excited, but I was surprised that we got Roxas back. And I knew that we we're going to play the other characters in the final battle. So I think that is going to be all for my reaction. I'm just confused and surprised at the same time. And some, and at the other time, it's just like, I knew that we we're going to get this content. So I was not surprised. So, um, and I hope that we're going to get a little bit of lore. I believe that this DLC is going to be um, purchasable. Like the critical mode was free, but this DLC is going to be like, you need to pay some extra, maybe 10 or maybe $15 or maybe $5 because, you know, the other... Um, the other DLC, like the Nier Automata thing, cost like $20, and and the Final Fantasy XV things cost like around $5 each, each expansion, or maybe 15 so I'm not going to guess my thing. So this is going to be all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed the reaction. There's nothing else that we need to check about, and we're going to get to play Sora, um, Sora, Riku, Roxas, Aqua, and... Yeah, I hope that we can get more characters that we can play. So that is all gonna be that is that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoy it and may your hearts be your guiding key. Peace guys.